Depends from like energy, man. Like um, relationships and family, <clears throat> even just like what what I want us to talk about today. Yeah, like again, I don't. We don't. I don't know. We don't know Will Smith like in and out. But from what the rumors, okay, like how apparently. You know how he also said I had an open relationship? Yeah, yeah. And how like, I mean, either way, they're not conventional anyway because they're, they're famous people. So like, the kids are not going to be, even when, they, like, the kids are just, they they, they seem very creative, innit? Yeah. They seem yeah. very like, I don't, I don't want to say dysfunctional. No, they're but, just very unorthodox, isn't it? Yeah, yeah unorthodox, yeah. isn't it? But even stuff like having, again, let's just, uh, for argument, so let's say the open relationship thing was true, yeah? Like, and... I don't know. Some people won't see that as it's not a normal thing to have an open relationship because how, how is that going to affect the kids in it? Because again, yes, your mum and dad are together, but it's, it's, it's on a, an unusual setup. Unusual setup. Sorry. So, growing up, you might think, okay, cool. This is we. Can, I can explore this too. This is the norm. Like yeah, this but is. I think when you when you're a celebrity and you have that option of open relationship, obviously, <coughs> I guess ultimately. The written rule is, okay, look, you can do what you want to do. I can do what I want to do, but it can't be common knowledge. Yeah, but no, but, yeah, so you can't, yeah. it can't be known. So whatever you do, you got to do it secretly yeah. as to not bring attention on the family because otherwise we've got to explain it and we look bad. No, but even for, but even forget that. I'm saying, let's just say like they have an open, open relationship and it's not, um, it's the, the media. It's not, the it's media confirmed. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying for, for argument's sake, let's just say they, yeah. they did, yeah, and the media aren't privy to that. The media don't know anything about that. Yeah. But I'm, I'm also saying, how how is that going to mentally affect the children and how but, how they perceive or they, what, what an ideal relationship is? But they shouldn't know. Huh? So that's what I'm saying. They might not know. That's what I'm trying to say. It has to be discreet, isn't it? Oh, you're saying. So obviously, okay. like husband and wife, look, this is mm. this is the setup. You know, keep it out of house, out of doors, so no one knows. The kids don't know. Yes, we do. Or you might tell me and say, look, I'm kind of feeling this guy. Da, da, da. Okay. Yeah. Run through. Because when you're famous, you're always going to move anyway. Yeah. But, but you know, you could be staying at any hotel for any reason. You don't need a reason to be at a hotel. Mm. But the paparazzi will kind of follow you there. That's the thing. Because in LA, yeah, it's... but at night time, yeah, I mean they only can be in a hotel for so long, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, but but I, yeah, it's crazy. I don't, I don't know. I think even like because even when we, when it comes Little to house party, <laughs> comes to like relationships here yeah, and stuff like that. Of course, like. Like just taking a celebrity relationship for one moment, yeah. They always say don't don't add like don't idolize people because trust me, you don't know what goes on behind closed doors. Yeah. But even just like forget all that and just even when, we, when you think of of our environment and like, I let me I I, I will start yeah and probably you guys can let me know what you think. I I don't have any, I would say um, I like what's the word like role models, role models in terms of relationship. Oh, you know these two. Are together because with with my mom and dad, and a lot of people in the same uh, friendship group, it was kind of a thing of oh yeah, yeah. that whole mom and dad had split. Yeah. So it's like it's like we we all come from broken homes. Yeah. True. But like we don't, I guess back then it, I don't I don't see it as a bad thing because oh all my friends yeah their their parents split so yeah we're we're cool we we seem fine so it's it's the norm so. But then I feel like back then. Maybe it was a bit. I was a bit too young to really comprehend that. Like, okay, like maybe the effects, how it affected yeah. me mentally, emotionally. Whereas now I can, I can kind of look back in hindsight. Actually, you know what? Yeah, cool. I turned out okay. Like that's that's you know I, like, yes, I didn't have a nuclear family, but I turned out okay. But even still, then that doesn't mean I, I couldn't have still uh, turned out better. I'm not saying I'm I'm worse now by saying yeah. that, but you know what I'm trying to say so. It's yeah, like, it's forever unknown. So, I mean, yeah, like, and it's like variable, isn't it? And I think for me, having um, uh, like, being a child from a broken home, and and just before this, I think broken home because usually, usually I used to, I think when you when you hear the term broken home, it's often, I mean, I think there's a few there's a few different connotations, but it's it's simply just like either some you're in a home where a single parent household, your parents have divorced, yeah, but of course, and it can also be like you're there's some sort of dysfunction, so it can mean different things in it yeah, but for, for, yeah. for, for uh, but I guess in our in the context of for us or well, me and you know yourself it's, it's the context of when you're, you're like your parents split do you know what I mean that, that's how we see it in it yeah so it's like like I, I at the time when my parents but I didn't know how it was affecting me because I'm, I'm going through it it's only it's only until like you're older maybe you can understand actually you know what 
okay, maybe not having a dad in the household, maybe I could, I'm not saying like my, you know, my mum or aunts didn't, didn't, they didn't like discipline me, they didn't, but it could have been a bit different if I had that presence of, well, you know what, I know if I go home and I, I do, if I leave this house and do a madness, I know my dad's gonna, but sometimes when there's no more presence, in, you know, you just feel like, okay, what, what, don't know what to, um, yeah, like, I'm trying to say, like, what, what is there to, there's no like discipline. Yeah. I, yeah, I know what you mean. And I think most importantly is structure. Mm. Because I think men provide structure and discipline. And obviously women, they provide like that nurture, love. Obviously you get the love as well from the dad. But I kind of think like you have your own predefined roles that you bring as a mum and dad, you know, like even like at home. Yes, we both discipline, but I'm the enforcer. Yeah. When I say it, this is what it is. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's like okay, no more games now. Stop. But is that but is that most more so to do with is that something you and your missus have consciously decided, or is that more so your character and how you are with your kids? You know, but I think that's part and parcel of my upbringing, as well. You know, it's fun. <laughs> it's funny because. Growing up, you get in trouble. I was just with my mum. She didn't explain anything. Oh, as in, so what if do you I mean? got told off, there was never an explanation. Like I could do something bad. Yes, I know it's bad. Mm. But when I'm getting disciplined, there's no explanation as to why I'm getting disciplined. Or well, maybe because they're showing you it in a practical way without obviously, you know. Yeah, yeah. but. See, my wife, she's like, okay, well, if you're going to tell them off or tell off the kids, you have to explain so they know what they've done wrong. Yep. So they don't do it again. Mm. So, but again, she's come from a nuclear unit. So we do have our differences in the way we approach things. But we just kind of work off each other, innit? As long as one doesn't overdo what the, others, the other does, then we're cool, innit? But... There's some things I'm learning from her, and there's something she's she's learned yeah. from me. That that's that's quite interesting though, like because a child you got, you got sorry you you got to remember a child, they're constantly learning. Mm. You can't expect them to know. Just like in general, you can't expect people to know why you're upset or why you're angry if you yeah, don't yeah, explain. Yeah. So discipline without an explanation is worthless. Yeah, but yeah, I guess yeah, maybe maybe that's. Because I'm 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 looking at from the point of view. Of course, like when, from the point of view of when I was like as a, being a teenager. Because when I was younger, maybe I didn't understand why I was being this man. But I think when when you're like a certain age, maybe like fourteen onwards, maybe you kind of understand. Okay, like yeah. I I knew that. Like, okay, like sometimes I would get in trouble. Like like coming home late from from school on a, on a school night, eight o'clock. You think now you think oh, it's eight o'clock, bro. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, uh, but as a school kid, when you finish school at three p.m., eight o'clock is might as well be like midnight. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. so like in, in in that particular scenario, I I know okay, listen, I'm gonna get in trouble. But I think. Oh, I'll, did you know what? Yeah, but you're probably at that time you thought, yeah, you're gonna get in trouble because it's late and you've been out long. Yeah. But the deeper issue being okay, yeah, because from this point onwards, maybe. The, the, the likelihood of you getting caught up in violence or whatever the case may be might increase significantly after a certain time. Mm. Like there's certain things like, so your mind would only take it to a certain level because you're a kid still. Yeah. But beyond you know, as a parent and having that, having a child, knowing you're fully responsible for them, you're always thinking about the bigger picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, that's what the explanation still needed. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Do you know what it is? No, I, like I don't like I, I. I'm not even mad at being disciplined, but I think when I when I read deep, it, yeah, again, is is I think like I, I was trying to make it make sense. Yeah, I think it's, it circles back to being from a broken home, subconsciously real and not realizing actually like because of that, I feel like I can because of the lack of uh, I would say more presence, more presence. I kind of do what I want. And think about what, what you're going to say as well. Like, obviously, when I was younger, like, I don't, I don't, I'm not vocal because I'm, you know, I have to, I have to do what they say, what my mum says or what my aunt says and stuff like that. Yeah. But when you get to maybe like 15, 16, when you're, you, you know, you're, you, you're, you're a bit of a, bo like, not, 
bit of a man that says that. Yeah. Oh, you can see what she's gonna do. If she if she slaps me, like, you know, no, even that if she slaps me, it's not gonna the, the praying threshold is different now. Yeah, because exactly, you're not yeah. so you're the man of the house, yeah. you've assumed man of the house. Yeah, and and, 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 and the thing is that the, that fear you had as a kid is different now because a, a kid when you're like maybe say 11, 10, this the fear of getting of getting um beat yeah, or getting yeah. being not being up as and getting smacked yeah. Yeah. yeah it's different because you're because it's gonna because you're younger it hurts and you, oh no if I do this I'm gonna get smacked you know what I'm gonna say whereas at 15 16 yeah I, I could hold it I can still hold a smacking but I'm not gonna be I might not be crying yeah, because it's, it's light work it's different it? so I, I so I guess what I'm trying to say is like I think because of that I, I'm I'm moving a bit some question I'm moving a bit more on really now because let's just say I had my dad was in the house. And he and there was some sort of like structure. I'm not saying there wasn't structure by saying this. Don't get me wrong in it. Yeah, as in, yeah, yeah. my mom wasn't letting me just run really. But if like there was a male presence in the house and it was like very, um, would I say? It was, I don't know if dominant is the right word, but it was very like I can tell. Yo, if you get in trouble, yeah, yeah. I, I, but I didn't even got to say too much. I just noticed that. Would would that <laughs> would I would I come on my at, at at you know at. Eight o'clock, eight o'clock. Yeah. And it's not just that, it's a combination of other things like, you know, like in school, like hanging out with people like we know we shouldn't have, bro, you know what I mean? Yeah. In, like yeah. in school, like, yeah. do you know what I mean? The, the, the fear isn't there because for me anyway, I'm not saying this is this is a, a, a objective thing, but the fear wasn't there because, yeah, because you know I mean? Yeah. You see how we all have like an, um, some, uh, what's the word? Intuition. So obviously when you know that you should be doing something, but you ignore it. Yeah. And that's when you realize I should have not done that. Like, mm. obviously, I think a good example is when I was playing football with, with my friends, and it was getting really dark, and yeah. I, I felt something telling me that I should be home, mm. and, and I knew straight away I can't ignore it because obviously, you know, yeah, when you do get home, then you realize <coughs> that they're literally sitting in the front room, mm. and then you think, "Well, I should have not done that." Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's yeah. When you get so many missed calls, you, you think, wow, they're, they're proper worried. You know? Yeah, definitely. I don't think. But that's it. I think more than anything, it's just a point for a caring. It's just caring. But also, I guess when you come from the estates and whatnot, I think, I think if you, both parents are there in your life, I think the likelihood of you remaining in that environment becomes shorter. What, what do you mean? Just like, because fin the financial struggle isn't as heavy. Like, you got to imagine, like, typically if it's just one person, if you're not in a high-paying job, mm. which seemed to be the case growing up, a lot of people's, obviously, I don't really know what people's parents were making. Yeah, but yeah. It, doesn't, it didn't seem like it was a lot of money. Do you know what I mean? Mm. If it's just one person working, that the implications financially is still a struggle. But if both of you are working and you're combining that, effort if you can see that the environment you're in isn't um best suited to your kids you can up and move mm. because so, there's there is that extra income yeah for and me I, personally yeah i couldn't be somewhere what i thought wasn't conducive you know to my kids mm. i would yeah, have no. to, I would that's, have to that's, a, that's, that's a good point the environment so i don't know if having both parents kind of enables that because you've now you've got joint income but but that's that's a good point because essentially not no i'm not saying it's, it's the only thing but having both parents that's one what that's that's probably one of the benefits because okay yeah. there's there's two incomes coming in the household so we have a bit more flexibility whereas there's only so much you can do with with one income and one so i guess when when that is the case you, <coughs> you kind of like you don't know how, so staying in a separate environment, okay, cool. You're, as most of us did, like growing up in the estate and being there, like staying there. So you, you more, after a while, maybe you, you're in the estate, you're playing now, you're hanging around with certain kids and who knows from there, that's how you're getting involved in, involved in this and that. Yeah. And on the flip side, someone who's from a nuclear family, who's also on that same estate, they might not have, they might not be as, their parents might be, it's like, I won't say like double enforcement, but like, both mum and dad are both drilling into, into the heads that listen. Like I know we're here, but just be careful. You can't do this. Don't because because of this. Yeah. Whereas it's it's sometimes it's hard. It's, it's hard like sometimes for one parent to con control their. Can I remember as as they get older as well. When you get to the age of like sixteen, those ages where they're like they're they're, they're a bit of a of a 
big boy now. They're doing they're, they're doing what they want, hanging yeah. around with with certain people in the, in the estate or whatever and whatnot, getting involved in whatnot. And because they might have some people they look up to who are maybe older. Okay, that's my robot now. That's my father figure. But that person might not even be might, might be a bad influence. He might be be a crunch them to do all sorts of madness about. And then and before you know it, that then something happens and oh that person's either dead or in jail and and you know and it's, it, we see it a, a lot of the times. I'm trying to say. Yeah, and I, I think that's what it is. I think um you got you got to remember growing up, kids sometimes they take to a parent. Mm. More so than the other. So by having both parents, maybe you know you might be able, like my son might be able to go to his mum just to talk about certain things. But if there's certain other things, he might want to come to talk to me. Yeah, exactly. Or some certain, like you know, just like you have some teachers. <coughs> some teachers might say something to you, and it's different. And then compared to another teacher, that oh, you shut up, man, you're disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas yeah. another teacher could say it. So sometimes it's good. To, it's good to have the, the the balance on both. And and exactly. that's and that's why sometimes even when I think growing up here, like. I think mentally, coming from a broken home, it mentally affected me in, in a good way, in the sense where, like, cool, there was, I was growing up around a lot of love, innit? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like, my mum, my, my aunt always said, listen, we, we want to do our best to make sure you're, you're good, provide for you. But on the flip side, like, how would, how would have been, it would have been nice to say, okay, what does my dad think about this or that? Yeah. Or get some form of perspective from, from a, a, male, a male figure in the house. I don't know what, what that could have done for me. Yeah. Do you know what I'm yeah. trying to say? So it's like, like, I guess not everyone will have the same um, like trajectory in it. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. It just it just depends because a, a a large a large part of it is is what you do to do to our friends. Like, who knows if I didn't grow up with you or whoever, like all Raf, who knows? Do you know what I'm trying to say. So yeah. again, but but that's not the case for everyone. No, we were just not. we were just so fortunate to have be around people who yeah, who were from broken homes too. But we didn't we weren't like um, how can I put it? We were very like we had a lot of positivity around us, so it wasn't yeah, we a thing. Like minded, didn't yeah. We? Yeah. But would I want to re repeat that cycle? No. No. Do you know what I'm trying to say? No. Another another important thing about having both parents, yeah, is time. It's being able to um, have quality time with your kids. So, for example, if I'm worrying about bills, if I have to work, or if I have to do a double shift to get two jobs, whatever the case may be, mm. who else is looking after you? Yeah, but yeah. like if you've got any particular extracurriculum interest how are you getting there mm. and that's where you do have like well parents like like i've got a group of a couple of guys who are who are dads and it's like okay well sometimes like okay well one kid you take one kid one dad's taking his kid to karate or judo everyone's taking his son to to football mm. but if you're a single parent yeah, you got a couple of kids, and your main priority is putting food on the table. Yeah, you know, you know, you, you don't, don't have time. Have yeah. any quality time, and that's always <laughs> that that the time, the quality time, the nurturing that goes out the window. Yeah, no, no, it's true, and I think this is this is this is important, and I think like, you know, you could probably um, answer this more, like, because um, even when, even even some of when I see some of my friends who have kids, like one of my boy, like he he, they went on a family holiday to Jamaica, like him, the missus, and and their daughter. The daughter's not one yet. Of course, she may not know the environment what's, what's going on, but yeah. but I feel like, right, okay, your daughter's not even one yet. She's already been she's already been to Canada. She's been to Jamaica. Yes, she may not know, but at least that's building. So, so I'm I'm probably assuming that they're going to continue that, that tradition of going on family holidays. <coughs> so as the as the child gets older, okay, cool. Like, yeah. there's a, you have a bit of social capital now. Okay, cool. You know, you're, you're trying to that kid at school. Oh, yeah, I've been here. And, and he's probably going to, you know, okay, cool. I want to maybe... Um, taking her swimming lessons okay she knows how to swim already okay maybe at a certain age okay cool what do you like what's your interest ballet and you can do that because okay like, you can do that because okay you have both family functioning so like it's not a matter of like okay cool you know the, the mum can can do that maybe on a Tuesday that so you, yeah. you have help that's that's the whole point of it you know what I'm trying that's to say it. that's it that's what it's about and again everything's not about money obviously it's all just about quality time and mm. having a parent who can be there with you obviously again if you're both working it's always going to be beneficial and by doing that yeah or being married what that does is it opens up the family mm. so obviously the assumption is that you're both not gonna have family in the same location yeah so then for for whatever reason if you have to travel for if you go to someone's house for a dinner or someone's hosting something mm. you're traveling 
around the country. Yeah. You know, yeah. now the mindset isn't, oh, I'm just stuck on this block or this estate. Because even just with family gatherings, you're going from here, you're going to there, you're going yeah, to yeah, there, yeah. or you're going on holiday. The world is a lot bigger. But typically from a broken home, you're lucky if you're going on holiday. If you're going on holiday, you're probably going back home. Yeah. No, no, Some, it's, it's you might, likely, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. true, it's true. You might not even class that as like holiday. Yeah. For you, it's like, oh yeah, I'm just going back home. Anyone can go yeah, yeah. home. Do you know Take what, it for do, granted. Do, do you know, think do, that's do you know the standard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you know what's crazy? Like, because even when I was, I've only been on one holiday, as in when I was younger, one holiday, um, so when I went to New York when I was 17 with oh, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Chuck's family in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's mad here, yeah? I only went on, I only went on a holiday because of my granddad. Because my granddad he had the, he said, listen, he had the money to but that so that wasn't a regular thing. Yeah. So like so in, in some families where like literally the, the, there's not that much disposable income, you know you're not really going. So so it's it's mad. So like this is why I feel like not just financially, um, this is what I feel like coming from a broken home there's there's limitations in it yeah in some cases there's some things where that they can't do um and i'm talking from like i'm seeing i'm i'm kind of it's making sense now from when i was younger but fortunate like i had a I, like our family wasn't like mad rich but we wasn't necessarily broke at the same time yeah, yeah, yeah so like i could have aunts who can chime in and say look what do you need you know or have a granddad who can say listen what do you need for x amount cool do that do you know what i'm trying to yeah, say yeah, but yeah. not everyone has that same set up that's yeah, it i think it takes time when it, when you come from a like a broken yeah exactly so as that things aren't done as quickly as yeah exactly yeah yeah, you know, yeah exactly exactly and even when even on the on the, on the ment a mental aspect of it like yeah. sometimes like you know like growing up i might there might some things I, i've went through but i don't know like mentally i'm a bit trapped because i don't know can I talk to my mum about this or my aunts about this? Whereas it's just like, yeah, yeah I have like my, my boys I can chat to, but it's almost like that's great. But also it's also having that older, you know, that older male figure. Yeah. To, to you know, I'm trying to say to listen, this is what I'm going through. This, this might sound silly, but, but, I mean, but my dad might be like, if it was like, oh no, don't worry. This is, you know, it's mine. And like, but, I, I went through it. I'm trying to say. Yeah, but that's a great point because obviously, not, obviously everyone talks about how yeah, men, they're poor communicators. But again, again, that could all be linked, really. Because if you come from a broken home, really, who can you talk to? If you're saying there's no role models, or if there's only people on the estate, typically it's like, man up, what are you talking about? Why are you crying? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Every, we're all in that kind of, in, in the circumstances, okay, well, we don't really have time for your problems. Yeah, or... or yeah, or the, <laughs> It's just the money. Do you think barbers <laughs> are kind of... Um... If you agree with me on, do you think they can be therapists? Because obviously, yeah, I, a lot yeah. of people tend that's to it. open up when they're in barbers. In the barbers, obviously. exactly, yeah. And David I think that's where people chop it up. Yeah, yeah. so that was the spot. Mm. Do you know what I mean? The barbers was the place. Like even when I go to my barbers, it's just jokes. It's yeah, just yeah, yeah. It's like it's like it's like even when it, when it, especially when you come from a broken home, certain environments are like a safe haven. Like, oh, you know what? I can even and, and again, I, I say this and I keep re repeating it. I'm, I'm not saying that. Oh, like my mum did a bad job but i'm just saying that of course it would, it would have been beneficial to have of course you, you know to have a, a male in the household but i'm saying like when the, when you don't naturally have that nuclear family so certain things do become good or bad some things do become your i would say your uh safe heaven for to, to speak about things to, to um help with your mental health but sometimes like you said in some cases some people like they don't really because there's there's nowhere to to channel that those mental issues so okay, cool. How am I how am I gonna how am I how am I gonna release this? You know what? Cool. Just gonna keep it in. Like keep it in. And then if some again, if one person's working and you see they're stressed, yeah, you, home from yeah, work, you don't you, don't have you know you, you know, know your yeah. mum's stressed. You know what, bro? I'm not even gonna try and put extra stress on my mum. Do you exactly. know what I mean? Yeah. So all it is is this compiled stress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're constantly just suppressing your feelings, your emotions. The, if you got olders, they're telling you anyway. Yeah push that shit deep down not let yeah, that shit yeah. come to the but surface that's, that's what I'm saying but you like, know what I mean that it really is a trap but like even like obviously like you know when we think of when we relationship of course a lot of people like marriage is always kind of like not for all is that the typical just, you know okay I yeah. want to be with someone and get married but was your decision to get married 
you, was your decision to get married because you came from a broken home or was that something you always wanted to do anyway? So like, did you like, and I guess, well, maybe I, I'm, I'm, guess I'm, I'm also saying it for myself because my, I wanted to, I want to, I, the reason why I want to get married and I see marriage is important because coming from a broken home, like I want to have what I didn't have. Yeah. You know what I'm say? Um, for, to be fair, you know, for me, that is, to, I think that was the reason and by default, just hearing other people, I think I kind of just probably took on, um someone else's i probably heard that yeah someone else say it to be fair like yeah i don't get married because my parents weren't married sort of thing yeah 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 but realistically the reason why i wanted to get married is when i <coughs> <laughs> met the missus mm. everyone in her family is married so okay for her side from her side we were getting married but is that, is that but at the same time, it was weird because I didn't propose for a long time. Obviously, we've been writing for ages. And it was just like when I kind of thought about like in retrospect, when I thought um thought back but I thought, oh, why didn't I propose? It's like because <laughs> I haven't known any better. Do you know? So mm, it took me longer okay, to that's commit a, that's a good, yeah, that's a good because <laughs> like that whole kind of like going through that whole process. It didn't exist. I hadn't yeah. seen it because if not, it's not emphasis is placed on on something like like marriage within your within your house. Anyway, you you might have a very relaxed attitude about it. That's what I say. So my attitude was very relaxed, and the only thing that really kind of threw me into action was like her sister got married, mm. and they were her her sister and her partner like close age to us. Yeah, they weren't together as long, and. I wouldn't say, yeah, they weren't together as long. So I thought, oh, wow. Do you know what I mean? And she kind of felt away. Like, she's like, well, how can they get married? Or how can he propose to her before you even propose to her? So that that, that, that kind of, they apply that kind of pressure, boy. Yeah, that, again, yeah. so even that. So that just kind of, kind of required me to kind of do my own soul search. And like, well, why haven't I? Like, am mm. I scared or? And really, it was just like, listen, weren't on the brain. Because mm. I haven't mm. come from it. Literally. Yeah. Mm. It's just, I ain't seen it. And it's not an excuse. Mm. It's not an excuse. But really, I was just drawing blanks, bro. I was like, okay, yeah. Like, you can always say, oh, yeah, money, engagement ring. But when you think about it, if you want to get married, it doesn't have to cost. Yeah, it's more, it's more, <coughs> sorry, it's more so the, the intention, okay. isn't it? It's, it's yeah. like, okay, you know, you want to do the, um, no, my friend, this isn't, maybe. You don't even need a ring. Yeah. You can propose and say, look. I ain't got yeah. the pee right now. No, it, it, no, it's true. No, I love I, you. Look, would you marry me? So you don't need anything. Yeah, but in, in, in this day and age, that'd be no, fun. no, that'd, no. That'd, that'd, that'd be fun upon because it's, it's, it's not the case now. Yeah, because it's, well, like it's more based on materialism now. Yeah, but that depends. So, it's, depends so, on so, the woman so someone, has. someone like wanting, like someone, yeah, it's noble. You know, okay, I wanna, you wanna get married, and you don't have money for the ring yet. Some girls, like, no, no, bro. No, okay, listen. Oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Listen, no, no my guy. Wait, doing that. Wait, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> wait, doing that. Like, uh, I need to see sign on the on the finger. The guy I worked with, yeah. <coughs> he said, listen. He went to Argos, got to two hundred pound wedding but, uh, ring. Some got listen. They listen, he got to two hundred pound. Now, listen, listen. <laughs> <laughs> they trying to hear that, bro. Like, <laughs> he didn't know where wedding ring size. He didn't know anything yeah. about that. Well, how how, how is this, as in recently this guy? No, no, no. He's older, isn't he? He's like forty. He didn't know anything. Now we know the ring size. We know about the triple four S's or whatever four yeah, yeah, C's. Yeah. Now we know. Mm. But in his time, it's like yo, I don't know. So I'm just gonna go Argos. I'm gonna pick up a little two hundred pound ring because I can't propose without nothing. Mm. He gave it to her. She said yes. But yeah, at the same time, he also said, "Look, this ain't the rule ring." Gonna go hat and garden and we can do patterns and cut properly, mm. which they did. But she still wanted to keep it because that was, again, I think you can over estimate or overthink what a woman wants. 